So frugal living, I am a frugal person, not frugal at heart, but I think it's so important more now than ever to be living frugally with all that we have. So let's address what frugal means first. Frugal is not cheap. So cheap, I used to be this person. I did not grow up this way, however. I, when I went shopping with my parents for clothes and food, we would do like one-stop shop, buy all our clothes at JCPenney's for school, um, buy all our bulk food at Sam's Club, and we lived in a very small town about two and a half hours away from any large grocery store, so we always bought local food, which is not always cheap. So I was not raised to be real cheap. We were, you know, now looking back, we were frugal with our money. So frugal also is not buy whatever you want so you can keep up with the Joneses. So also let me preface this here. I'm not giving any financial advice. This is just what I have learned from a naturally cheap person on how to actually be frugal with what we have. So I'm going to give a few pointers here of what I have learned in my years of being frugal um, from a naturally cheap perspective actually after I left my parents home and just how important I think that is for us as homemakers, if you're a homesteader, if you're living in a city, just all around everybody. So when I really got into thrifting, I just bought things because it was cheap. I loved going to garage sales and I still do thrift hauls, garage sale videos, but you're probably noticing not quite as much because I am trying to be very intentional. My word for this year is intentional and I want to make what I have, my money, be intentional. And so if I find something I absolutely enjoy and will use as decor in my home or clothing, I will buy it secondhand. And I do enjoy a good thrift trip, don't get me wrong. But oftentimes I leave with one item or empty handed. There's nothing wrong with going and perusing, but it depends on what we're going to spend it on. Um, if you've watched my videos for quite a while, if you look back several years, you'll see my home decor style has changed immensely. That's because I have become a much more frugal person, not cheap. My home was filled with little knickknacks, more items to clutter my home than to actually fill it with things I find joy in and that actually look curated and not like you just ran to a thrift store, bought a bunch of stuff and filled your home. So that is where I have come from, being cheap in that perspective. I also was a couponer for a while and I would coupon thing, like cut coupons to buy things that I never actually would use like a certain toothpaste because it was 50 cents off if you got three bottles of this toothpaste even though I never used that toothpaste so truly that's kind of a waste of time and just trying to be cheap so I have learned in my tendencies from being cheap to be just more frugal um, now I am a lot more intentional with the decor like I said my clothes my toys we bring in so we often try to bring toys that are learning um, toys if they're gifted to us I will even ask the girls do you want to keep this or would you like to share it with someone else who will enjoy it and so I just am very intentional with what we have in our home and the biggest reason is because of our space. We live in a 950 square foot home. I will get to that as another pointer later on. So being frugal with my money, how do I do that? So first of all, a lot of it is food related, I guess you would say. I am not cheap with food. I don't always just go buy the cheapest thing that's on sale. I do buy a lot of organic products and that is where I invest my money. So for us, being frugal doesn't always mean um, buying cheap. <laughs> I keep going back to that, but buying low cost items because I feel like quality products for our bodies are important. And that's where I will invest our money into, whether it be my skincare, um, supplements, herbs, I take um, the food we ingest because I do feel like that is so important for our health and for our bodies. So I do buy bulk from Azure. Bulk is a really big way to save. We make most our meals at home. We probably eat out once a month, if that. And if we eat out, it's usually for my husband and I to have a date. 
So eating out can really suck the money. So making meals at home, and there's so many quick and simple meals that you can make from home that are 30 minutes. Um, I do a lot of my like day in the life homemaking videos and a lot of those meals I make are 30 minute meals, 30 minutes to an hour, including baking time and cooking time. But also I make all my coffee at home. We invested in an espresso machine, which is wonderful because then we can make our own lattes at home and we've had it for two and a half years. And boy, do we use it. We use it twice, no, three times a day for my husband and I. And so, man, if we went out every time we wanted a latte, that would really rack up the money that we spend. So we just invest in certain things so that we can enjoy those, but be frugal in how we live our life in other areas. Our vehicle we have, we bought five years ago before we had our four and a half year old daughter. And it was used, it's a 2006 vehicle. So it is not near new. We spent um, under $10,000 for it and quite a bit under actually. I know with inflation, everything has gone up, but man, has it gotten from place to place. And that's for me, vehicles, I don't need the fanciest family vehicle or minivan. I just need something that will get us from location to location. Sure, we've had a few hiccups here and there with it, but it truly has gotten us where we need it to be with when we need it. Like it's heated, it gets us from place to place, it um, seats all of my family of five, and that is what I want. And so we didn't even go into debt for it. We are not ones to go into debt, which is also being frugal, by the way. Keep your money um, where you need it with not getting loans, going into debt. If you need a new vehicle, save up for it. Trade off a new vehicle you bought to get used. Like there's just so many different ways that frugality fits, can fit into your lifestyle. So another area to be frugal in is with our time. So here's where I find you need to think about what you find important. Is it more important for me to try to find the cheapest deal possible for a new couch per se? I'm looking at my couch here and peruse Facebook Marketplace for weeks and weeks and weeks. Or is it important to find a good quality couch that will last and fit your family? So couch for me is probably not a good example because our couch and love seat here, we got um, seven years ago, the pair was $100 and it has suited our family so well. Used for that was great because when you have little kids, things get marked up, spills happen. And so, you know, another better example would probably be to think about clothes, um, finding clothes. So do you shop around on Facebook Marketplace or go into Goodwill every week to constantly find the best deal possible for maybe a pair of pants that you need? I do invest in my jeans. I don't usually buy new because I am um, a straight, a straighter shape. And so there's a certain brand of jeans that fit me pretty well. And so I have just a couple pair of jeans that work well for my body. Um, and I'm not one anymore. I don't want to just buy it secondhand because like I said, it was cheap. And then realized after that season, psh, I'm done. So I think time is better spent in certain areas. Are you wasting time that you could be spending with your family, that you could be creating something, that you could be um, enjoying a book that you could be um, spending time with your husband or learning something new. Are you spending that time being cheap and perusing for weeks and weeks to find something? Don't get me wrong, I'm on the hunt for some new kitchen chairs and I'm not gonna buy brand new because I want a vintage look anyways. So I am, when things pop up on Facebook Marketplace, I'll take a look, but you know, I'm not gonna spend hours and hours and days just searching for that because I want the best deal possible. And so I think time is really important for being frugal. And then to my space. So like I said, our home is 950 square foot with an unfinished basement, and we do have a one-stall garage. So we have realized that money, being frugal with money in a space is important. If we had a large home, I don't think we would even use half of it. And so we'd be paying these electrical bills and water and sewer bills for spaces that 
I don't even need or need to use. We share our two bedroom home. We have one bathroom and it fits our family well. And I don't think that I could see ourselves needing to buy a 4,000 square foot home. I did a small home tour video back in August and you can see my whole space laid out for you um, as I walk you through my home and it just fits for what I need. With small homes too, the time it takes to clean is so minimal. So I don't feel like I spend hours and hours and hours cleaning my home and spending that valuable time doing something that I enjoy cleaning, don't get me wrong. Um, I love making a home look warm and cozy and clean, but you know, if I had a larger home, it would take me twice or triple the amount of time that it actually takes for me here in my current position of this home. And with that becomes decluttering. I think a frugal person has less stuff because when you are constantly bringing more things into your home, it accumulates. And for me, I just feel overwhelmed if I have too much stuff in my home. And so I can't often think or function until like my living room is really picked up. Um, okay, right now I'm filming. There's a books on the table. There's a backpack over here with a little baby toy. But overall, just less stuff, um, I think, embraces a more frugal person because we aren't filling every space with knickknacks and clutter and items we really don't need in our homes. Okay, friends, so there's a lot, I believe, with frugal living and being a frugal person. I have never experienced being an overspender. Neither my husband nor I are overspenders. And usually they say like one or the other, a wife or a husband are opposites. We really are not that way. Like my husband doesn't upgrade his clothes. I do that for him because he had stuff from middle school still, um, which would have been 15 plus years ago. And so, you know, neither of us spend a whole lot on certain items and clothes. Like I said, I do invest in some good kitchen items, but I'm not going to fill my kitchen with all the little gadgets and knickknacks either. Just because I saw an influencer use it doesn't mean I need to have this item. I don't have an air fryer. I don't have a toaster oven. I don't have... Um, I, don't, I can't even think of some other things that I don't have. I love my Instant Pot. I use my KitchenAid mixer for my homemade bread. Um, I use my oven and stove a lot. You know, my pressure canner for canning. But I don't have every little gadget for cutting things a certain way, storing my avocado so it doesn't overripe. Um, you know, just those little things that I think you could do without those gadgets. And to each his own, right? Like, so if you want to invest in those items and not your clothes, or you wanna invest in really items that will maybe save you time for your family, but might not save another person time, but you gotta think through each situation for who you are. And I think that's what I've learned about myself with becoming more intentional um, and looking at myself and my family and what I need, um, just made me realize what frugal living is really about because I want time to spend um, with my community, my church, fellow church members, my family over being really cheap and just cluttering my home or spending everything so I can try to fit in. Who we are as people inside matters more than all the stuff and what we have. So I hope this is encouraging for you to just see for yourself where you're at with frugal living. Are you on the more overspending spectrum and you need to hold yourself back a little bit? Or are you cheap like I used to be and you need to realize, okay, I don't need to just buy it because it's 50 cents, right? So let's look at ourselves for this year, be intentional, figure out what frugal living means for you and your family. And I hope the best in this situation because money is important. And in the time and day that we are in with inflation, groceries costing a lot, um, everything, gas prices, vehicle prices, home living expenses, just check and see where you're at and your family. And I hope you can be encouraged today to just take some action and check on who you are and your family. So 
I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a little bit different um, talking at you and not bringing you along on a homemaking day, but I love you guys and I just want what's best for you and your family. So have a blessed and wonderful day and I will talk with you in my next video.